Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Life's Journey, Ups, Downs, and Positivity. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm coming to you with one of my news flash, touching on COVID-19 and statistics. Um, let's jump right into it. So the U.S. is leading the world in COVID-19 ca cases and death. COVID-19 death toll hit the 100,000 mark on Wednesday, May 27. That's an average of almost 900 deaths per day. And according to CDC, almost 80% of all COVID-19 deaths occur in people over the age of 65. According to CDC, 3% of COVID-19 death occurred in people between 18 and 44 years of age. 59% uh, of all COVID-19 death occurred in people 75 years and older. 21% occurred in people between 65 and 74 years old. Approximately 18% occurred in people ages 45 and 64 years old. It is stated that the U.S. death rate that death rate is 2.6 times higher than the U.K. And the UK has reported approximately 36,875 deaths so far, approximately. It's probably a little bit higher. And this number makes the UK the second leading in COVID-19 death. Okay. Um, do you know that nearly as many Americans have died of COVID-19 as in the war, as in the wars in Vietnam, Korea, Iraq, and Afghanistan? I'm going to give you some statistics, uh, statistics on that. For example, more than 58,000 Americans died in Vietnam. The U.S. COVID-19 death is 1.7 times higher. Almost 37,000 American di Americans died in Korea. The U.S. COVID-19 death rate is nearly three times higher. 4,431 Americans died in Iraq. The U.S. COVID-19 death rate is 22 times higher. 2,445 Americans died in Afghanistan. But listen to this. The COVID-19 death rate is nearly 40 times higher. So, nearly as many um, uh, Americans have died of COVID-19 as in the wars in Vietnam, Korea, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Sad, 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 sad situation. Okay, so that being said, do you know it is said that nursing homes account for 42% of deaths in most of the U.S.? It is stated that the first significant COVID-19 outbreak in the U.S. occurred at a facility in Washington State 
where at least 35 people died and dozens more residents and staff were infected. Yeah, I just thought this was interesting information, you know, to, to um, just put out there in one, one place. All right. And then it is also stated that black Americans are more than twice as likely as whites to die from COVID-19. The mortality rate for black Americans is 2.4 times higher than the rates for whites. Yeah, guys, so um, just tell me what's your thoughts on this, you know, because uh, you know, I know a lot of us, um, there's a lot of debates going on out there about wearing the mask, not wearing the mask, opening up, not opening up, and stuff like that. And everybody seems to have their own opinion about that. Should we wear a mask? Should we not wear a mask? Is the mask comfortable? It's not comfortable. Uh, should we wear it uh, here? Should we wear it there? And um, I mean, for me, I would say for me personally, I... feel like wearing the mask is a very good idea and not only that I am willing to do whatever it is within reason and that's advised by the professionals to do if it's meant to keep me safe you know so um yeah, I, I have no problem wearing the mask, and I do wear the mask, and um, I feel safer wearing the mask, and um, that's just me, so I'm just putting that out there. And so this, uh, these statistics are crazy, and when we think about it, um, you know, we really want to think safety first, all right? So I just wanted to bring this to you guys. Um, tell me what's your thoughts on it um so yep so remember i'm gonna have that raffle the raffle that i'm gonna do sometime next week and I'm, I'm gonna let you know what date that's gonna be um where i'm gonna be giving doing the hundred dollar giveaway so so far um based on what my viewers have been requesting is that i do four twenty five dollars prizes so it's going to be four prizes so it's going to be four winners and they're going to win $25 a piece okay and that's set for sometime next week I'm not sure what day yet I'm going to figure that with work schedule and what you know everything else that I have going on um, so I want to thank you guys because I'm seeing my this um, a lot of subscribers coming in I want to thank you guys for viewing I want to thank you guys for subscribing and liking and commenting. Uh, thank you for your time. Highly, highly appreciated, as I would always say. Um, uh, so once again, the name of my YouTube channel is Life's Journey, Ups, Down, and Positivity. Uh, Instagram, Keisha.ty. Facebook, Bob Sky. Sympathy goes out to um, everyone that's suffering some type of loss um, of a loved one via COVID-19. And a big shout out to all of our, as you guys know, I would always say, frontline workers, essential workers, um, doctors, nurses, home health aid, tran trans transit workers. Uh, daycare workers, janitors, janitors, you know, we got to keep them in mind, keeping everything sanitized and stuff for us, you know, they're essential as well. Maybe a lot of us don't think about that, you know, super, super grateful. Airline workers, just to name a few, but in general, a big shout out to all of the uh, essential workers 
we love you we appreciate you god bless you and your family keep safe um big shout out to all my viewers love you guys Mwah.